Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to USMLE videos. As always, we invite you to visit our website at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. You can find hundreds of videos ranging from all topics you come across in USML examination. Tonight, I want to talk a few minutes about observational studies and uh, no matter what is your background you are going to face these questions and biostatics statistics actually is not your favorite subject for many many students but unfortunately we get tons of questions from these topics today let me describe observational studies there are two main types of studies in medicine. Number one, observational studies. Number two, experimental studies. In observational studies, you just observe things, whereas in experimental studies, you intervene. You use an intervention and see its impact, like uh, clinical trials, where you take a drug and use it on animals or people and see its impact on those groups. Those are experimental studies. And these are observational studies. So in observational studies, we are not using any intervention. We are just observing things. Now, observational studies they are defined by time. Some observational studies, we observe things in the past, what happened in the past. In some observational studies, we observe what is happening right now. Right now in the present, what is going on? That is uh, one type of observational study. And there are other observational studies in which you see, you observe things in the future. So they are defined by time. Now, as a way of uh, classification, there are four types of observational studies. Number one, case series. Number two, case control. Number three, cohort. Number four, cross-sectional. So those are the four important series of tests we do in observational studies. Number one, case series. You take a group and you observe what are the characteristics in a relatively short time. Number two, case control study. In case control study, you are looking back in time. And you can use these studies to see the causes and incidence of diseases to identify risk factors. So in case control study, you are looking back in time into the past and you can see how risk factors actually uh, influence a particular outcome of a disease or you can also see how a group of people were influenced by a treatment those are case control studies and thirdly cross-sectional studies imagine a cross-section right now that is a cross-sectional study what is happening right now? You take a group of people and observe the disease in them and you can say this patient is in stage 1, this patient is in stage 2, that patient is in stage 3. So cross-sectional studies are useful to staging of diseases. And now cohort study. Cohort study is with the future what is happening, what will happen in the future, that is cohort study. In cohort study, you can actually follow the natural history of a disease. For example, a patient got uh, Lyme's disease today. You observe that patient for the next two weeks and you observe that patient for the complications of Lyme's disease for the next 10 years. That is possible in cohort study. And also, um, identification, of, identification of risk factors. You take a group of risk factors and you take a group of patients and you see how these risk factors influencing that group of people 15 years from now. So, cohort study is useful 
to see the impact of risk factors, to see the natural course of a natural history of a disease and you, you can also use it to see the causes and incidence of disease. So basically those are the four major types of studies. Let us go one by one in order to see the most important points. Number one, case series studies. It happens within a short time and you simply observe different characteristics in a group. That is case series studies and that is the simplest of all. Then case control study. In case control study, it is in the past. So what happened? That is case control study. What happened in the past? The direction of inquiry is into the past. In cross-sectional study, what is happening right now? And the direction of inquiry is into the present. In cohort study, the question is what will happen? The direction of inquiry is forward into the future. So those are the three important questions. Remember these three important questions and that will make things a lot clearer when you, uh, when you study about these three important studies. In case control studies, what happened? In cross-sectional study, it is what is happening right now, whereas in cohort study, what will happen in the future? So those are the important issues we need to remember. Cohort studies are forward-looking, case control studies are backward looking. Now there are few terms that came because of these things. In case control study it is called retrospective. Why? It is into the past. Retrospective is the term we use. Whereas for cohort study we have started the study so it is called prospective. So cohort is prospective and case control is retrospective. And whereas for cross-sectional study, we are actually taking in a short period of time, at that time actually, at that point. So it is called prevalence study because cross-sectional study is involved with what is happening right now. For example, um, to, to say it is a, a Gallup poll and asking the voters who are you going to vote for Barack Obama or John McCain that is a cross-sectional study because you are observing things happening at one point. So those are the three most important studies you need to remember and uh, to make it easy you have to know what is the intention of each studies. For example, Framingham study for cardiovascular disease. What kind of study is it? Think of it. In 1948, they took a group of people in Framingham, Massachusetts, and they started to observe the risk factors, the causes, for cardiovascular disease in a group of people. So 1948 they started it so it is going on and on and on. So when it was started it was a cohort study and even now we are still using Framingham study after 60 years. We are still following some of the uh, grandparents, grandchildren and all that Thing. So Framingham study is uh, a kind of uh, cohort study. When you stage a disease, it is a cross-sectional study. So you need to remember these points and uh, to explore more about USMLE and to watch hundreds of other videos, you are always welcome to visit our website at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. Thank you. Have a good night.